Hey, welcome to rtcrescue.com. I've been asked by one of our colleagues aboard to do some step-by-step -step instructions on doing a uh, B-post removal or complete side removal or a, uh, what we're going to do is call quite a few other different techniques across the waters. Now, um, as you can see, we've already spread the door open um, and this time what we've done is we've just spread it from the hinges. Um, I'm sure you've all got many different ways of popping the door open. Um, so you can do that whichever method you want. What we're going to do on this side is we're going to do a B post rip or side out as they like to call it in the US. Um, we'll shortly get that done. We'll do a step by step on video. On the other side of the vehicle once we've done that we're going to do a complete side removal but we'll cut the B post off instead of ripping it. Uh, ripping the B post now is quite is a technique that used to be used a long time ago when we just had combi tools. Uh, now with the reintroduction of ultra high strength steels on vehicles, the b post rip is a method that is coming back into use on a more regular basis, purely because we're finding we can't cut these ultra high strength steels, but we are managing to tear them and rip them at the welds. Okay, we'll uh, see how we get on with that. Okay, what you'll see we're doing now is we're cutting a, ideally a horizontal cut into the base of the b post, which will um, start to form part of our tear. Obviously, as you can see, it's very restricted space and you're not always going to get the tool in dead horizontal to make the cut. Especially when we have to avoid items such as a seatbelt pretensioner and any gas um, SOS systems that might be in the base of the B-post. If you have a look at the top, you can see at this particular time we're not cutting the top of the B-post first. We're going to do that after the rip. Um, the reason for that is, is that if we get any problems doing the rip, Hopefully that will stop the top of the B-post from encroaching in on the casualty. You can see now we're starting to do the spread. We're starting to get the tear. Obviously bearing in mind you need to leave the door in situ so you can use that as a purchase point for the tear. There you go. In this situation here, we've lost the bottom door hinge. Things don't always go to plan. Nothing has been pre-prepped here. These are unfortunately the problems we will face. But as you can see, we're easily able to carry on the tear there, using good skill by using the seal and the B-post as a lever point. We're going in for a cut at the top of the B-post. As I said, leaving that until the last, there's no problems with that encroaching on the casualty's head. The rip is now complete, and we should hopefully be able to fold away the whole section. There we go. Now all that will be needed will be to cover up all the sharp edges with sharps protection. See there, it is a little bit messy, but nothing that uh, some sharps protection won't cover up. Then you can see at the base of the B-post we've totally avoided the seatbelt pretension in the reel. Now all that will be left to do, we can either tie that whole lot off, the doors and the B-post off, tie that away, or we can get some manpower to support the weight and we can cut the front door or spread it off at the hinges, thus leaving the whole of the side of the vehicle. Totally clear.